Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another wonderful and exciting episode of The Elias Express. Today we're taking a look at my personal creation of Space Mountain. Now, for those of you that are unfamiliar with Space Mountain, Space Mountain is an indoor roller coaster type ride in the dark, with sharp turns and sudden drops. Now, there's a few different versions of Space Mountain out there. We're going to start with the original version, which would be in Magic Kingdom in Florida, opened up in the year 1975. One of the first attractions to actually open up in Disney World before Disneyland. Disneyland's counterpart opened up in 1977. And then, of course, there's Space Mountains around the world. You have Space Mountain Mission 2 in Disneyland Paris, which actually has an inversion in it and is launch up a hill. And then you also have a Space Mountain out in Tokyo as well. Now, Hong Kong and both Shanghai have the Tron coaster, so there's no real Space Mountain there. Space Mountain, essentially, depending on the version you're on, um, takes you through like a space loading station. You see a bunch of space scenic items. Um, you see stars, you see rocket ships, you see space equipment. It's a bunch of different mashes together. Um, with my Space Mountain, I kind of took Disney Worlds and Disneylands and kind of mashed them in together. Um, the only thing I don't like about how my Space Mountain turned out is that the stars in the actual showroom are a little too bright for my liking, but it was so tedious to put them in, and I have so many projects that I'm working on now, it's, it's for me to go back and do that all would be just too much. So now we take a look at my Space Mountain. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Planet Coaster creation. Uh, this is going to be my Space Mountain, my take on what a Space Mountain would look like. Um, because I wasn't building this in a park, and because it is very te tedious to do such, I did not build an outside of Space Mountain. I just did what the queue line would actually be, and then the ride itself. Um, I could have taken, taken the time to really build it, but my schedule's all jammed up between work and writing different vlog videos and designing other coasters that for me to do it it's not in a park um i really just wanted to get to the core of the attraction itself um my apologies on that it won't happen in the future i've just been a little busy as of late so either way i went to enter the actual ride itself now Again, I always have trouble getting the space bar out of the way. There we go. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's really in the cam mode. But, so either way, here we go. Mm -hmm. Entering the queue line for Space Mountain. There's a little planet observation. There's a little part of a spaceship. You can go down this hall here, you'll see different pictures of different spaceships and space-like things. So some stars and some solar system there. Here's like a really cool concept of like what living on a spaceship could possibly look like. More like a Star Tours, Star Wars team spaceship. There's actual space crafts, there's a space launch. That. There's a Boeing. X-37 Come up these stairs And you're in what I call the space station spare room Space station spare room pretty much just a bunch of different random parts put together looks like you're in a warehouse or such and Then you climb up here To another strum another section of the queue And as you can see I've imported videos of a simulated Mars landing on the outside. A little closer view on that here. Depending on what videos I find online and want to be able to import into the ride, the quality of the video does alter, and also depending on the size of the screen I'm using, it does alter as well. Wow. 
Computers and space helmets here. One, fire. Little throwback to Journey to Inner Space. Board. Come down here. Now this is a very Disneyland-esque space mountain. Um, at least the two areas. If you see in the middle, you come back come around. And and the ride seats like Disneyland does as well. Two across and three deep in each car. And down here. So you have a whole downstairs queue area. Before we board it, because it's a pain in the neck to go back and forth. I'm just gonna take you to the exit real quick. And the exit is just, just a long hallway of these stars and you come out over there. Yeah, that's your exit with the little spaceship guy. Let's give this a whirl. go. You start coming out this corridor and you can see stars through the window. Got a little set of stairs on each side leading up to with two separate elevators. If you look here on the left you got some equipment. Some electrical equipment and then you got people up there manning the space station. It's almost like um, the one you pass through in well through the QM world and through the actual ride itself in Disneyland. Here to the right, got some sparks of flying, some things that look like we need to be fixed. We got robots over here working on some droid battery, but up here, Spaceport 18. This a tribute. Um, if you're familiar with Spaceport 75 and 77 and World and Land, respectively, um, you know that Spaceport over the year it's after the well, well, the year it was made. So Spaceport 18 would be this attraction. And then you come up this lift hill here when you finally hit the chains. Kind of takes off a little bit. And towards the top here, it's going to turn red. The whole room turns red. Let me see if I can give you a better perspective. Right there, yep. There's a star tunnel. Threw in a little hit of Mickey. Scanner right here. And the tunnel that reminds me a lot of this Lance tunnel. Um, unfortunately, the screen on the right is acting up. I don't know why. But yeah, this is a rocket ship landing. I'm sorry, takeoff. And you're out into the stars, and it's time to go on the roller coaster. Turn and a little bit of a drop here. Now, because real, um, because it was, it's hard to get this game to be completely pitch black. I wanted to use the effects of stars here. Um, looking back now, maybe I overdid it with the stars. Maybe I could have chosen a picture that's a little less star-like quality. Um, it does get a little darker, but you can just try. Explosion there. It is slightly faster um, than the plants. This clock's at 41 miles an hour, which way is about 35, and match beam is about 28. And 
and then Ryan's gonna come to an end here and go to the rental. Oh, okay. And get a screenshot there. And this will be the ending hallway. Before you come back into the station. Um, real quick, ideally here I wanted to move these down. But because the track was right next to it, I had very limited space, so you fortunately you get what you get. <laughs> Um, something I can look forward into fixing from the next creation. But yeah, that, ladies and gentlemen, has been my creation of Space Mountain, Spaceport 18. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That was my recreation or contribution or dedication to Space Mountain. Hopefully everybody enjoyed. Of course, leave your comments below or anything I could do better for next time. And of course, I want to see your attractions, so if you have any links, that you can upload to Steam or any links on YouTube. I would love to feature them on the show. Well, until then, see you guys next time. Now it's time for me to go back to the paper route.